Hi, this is Bronislava. I am your knit and crochet tutor. I also have uh, a blog which is called Handmade Rukodielky and you can go and find over there a lots of patterns, some for free, many for free actually, and some, not as many, uh, that you need to go and purchase. Uh, I also make videos, as you know, uh, you all who are following me, I make videos for you so you can go and knit or crochet along. And in today's video, we are going to be working on uh, socks for a gentleman whose size, shoe size is 13, okay? And again, I will have a, um, a written pattern for this. So go to my uh, handmade rukodielky and you can go and see a uh, free pattern, written pattern for this particular sock. Socks, actually. <laughs> you have to make two. Uh, so for this sock, I cast it on 72 stitches. Okay. And I knitted 60 rows, just like in this part right here okay so let me just show you okay so 72 stitches 60 rows now we're going to go and divide our stitches to two parts which is 36 stitches here and then these 36 stitches will stay and we will not go and work with them for a while we just will uh, work on this dark part okay the flap so let me go and move my stitches divide them into 36 and 36 so this is my beginning okay and this is gonna be my marker that this is my right here this is my beginning for the flap so what I will do is I will make sure that I have on this needle that I have 36 stitches and then I will have 18 stitches on this needle and 18 stitches on this needle. So it's easy for me to knit back and forth. All right. So let me go and move the stitches from this needle to this needle. So I have total 36 stitches right in there. six stitches right in here and now we need to move few stitches from here because it would be kind of weird to knit this way with very few stitches here and plenty of here so I just want to make it even so it's easier to you know manage this this needle okay so I will make sure that I have total uh, 18 stitches on this needle and then I should have left another 18 stitches in here. Okay. And now I have 18 stitches here, 18 stitches in here, and I can start knitting. I'm going to put this in there. It's out there. We won't, we won't use that. So I will start knitting my flap right here. All right, so uh, we're going to be starting our flap with dark yarn. All right, and we just will continue with uh, knit one, purl one. I just will double my, these two, the tail with my yarn and I will, because I want to make sure that I don't really have to, um, that I don't have to weave it in later on. So I will just knit with both of them. And I twirl it. This is kind of my technique. I like to do this so I don't have to deal. This yarn needs to stay out of our way. Okay, so. Now I'm going to go and wrap it around my finger and I will knit one, purl one. Now if you are knitting with 
uh, English style, then you hold your yarn on this side, okay? And I'm doing this in a continental style. Let me go and push this away. And I will just keep knitting, uh, knit one and purl one. I will work this. And there are other techniques that you can go and make it uh, different, stronger, okay? Uh, but I, I just decided not to do it. I uh, just want to make this video simpler for the uh, for all of you who are starting to knit socks, who have already few experiences, but uh, not as many and want to learn how to do socks. And these socks are for... Um, Hopefully they will fit, that the, these socks will fit, right? But they are for foot that is male size 11. Okay, I think I'm good now. This is not going to definitely untangle and I have it all basically worked in so I don't have to weave this end in at all. And I will just continue knitting, knit and purl stitches. And I will do this back and forth. Okay, so this is my first row. And then the second row, we will turn around when I get to the end of this needle. And we will repeat. And these two rows I will repeat 15 times, which means totally 30, okay, 30 times. I think I uh, actually knitted this, I, I have to check again my notes, because I knitted my first sock uh, about three weeks ago. <laughs> So, and finally I'm getting to a videotape this, this part, which I wanted to, okay? So let me go and show it to you. Show it to you in English style. So we will knit one. Okay, let me actually move above this. And of course you can go and knit with circular needles and you would have to use the uh, magic magic uh, loop okay magic loop not magic circle magic circle was getting into my brain okay but you will need to with circular needles you will need to use magic loop Okay, and as you see, I'm really not extremely good with uh, English style. I just wanted to show it to people who knit this way. And I will continue with my continental style. Okay, so this is going to be my second row. When I am finished my second row, I will repeat these two rows 14 more times. So I'll see you when I have 30 rows. All right, so I now I have my flap and I did actually knit it 30 rows or back and forth 15 times, which is two rows times 15 is 30. Okay, so 30 rows. And now we are going to be starting on our turning heel, which is this part, okay? So right now we will knit, no, we will first slip first stitch, just slip it, okay? And knit 19 stitches. 
which is one, two, After this, when you have nine, uh, when you slipped one and knitted nineteen, you will slip, 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 and knit. Put this needle through these two stitches, okay, just like that, like you want to go and move them back on, and knit these two stitches with through the back loop. Okay, with the needle. And now we need to go and knit one more. Knit one more. We're set up right now for working that uh, that heel, turning heel that is kind of like a, a moon shape. Okay. I think I have 13 stitches in here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen stitches. Now we will turn around, we will slip this first stitch, we are not going to knit it, and we will purl, we will purl six stitches, I think. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we need to purl two and purl one. And let me see if we would go and have 13 stitches in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, so what we need to do is only purl only five stitches. Okay, so we slipped one and then purled five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need to purl two stitches together. I was not sure if I have to do five or six. Okay, so purl two stitches together, purl one more stitch, and let's check if we have 13 stitches now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Yes, we do have. 13 stitches. So we have 13 stitches in here and 13 stitches in here. That's what you need, okay? And this is our middle right here. And you can see actually that this is kind of apart. It's not so close. When I when I turn around, let's go turn around, you will start seeing that we have little like little uh, step in here okay or a little hole in there but don't worry about it we won't have it so now the second row we will I, or I mean third row this was second row going back on the pearl side okay so this is our third row what you will do is you will again slip first stitch we will knit six stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And you see that we have this hole in here. So we need to con we, we need to close that hole. And we will close it with that slip, slip and a knit stitch, okay? So we will slip one stitch, slip knit wise, Okay, then put this pearl wise, put this needle pearl wise back in and knit through the back loop. Okay, and we close it really nicely and we will knit one more stitch. We will turn it around. Okay, and now on pearl side we will do seven stitches. So first we will slip one stitch, okay? Now we will purl seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven you see we again have that gap in here that hole that little tiny step okay so what we will do is we will purl this and this stitch together okay so on purl side we purl two together to close that gap okay and after that we go and purl one more okay now we will be working on the right side again and on the right side we will slip slip that gap okay and then knit one more so now we will go and knit we will slip first stitch and then we will have to knit eight stitches okay so it's always one extra stitch in each row okay so now it's gonna be eight stitches so we, we slipped one and we're knitting eight one two three four five six seven eight and look we're gonna have one stitch gap one stitch so on the right side we always do slip stitch slip slip and knit two together so again knit wise slip knit wise slip knit them together to close the gap and we're going to knit one more okay so we knitted eight stitches in here after the, we slipped so on this side it's one more after we slip the stitch so it's gonna be nine okay so we're gonna slip the, the first stitch and purl not knit purl I'm sorry purl nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and look again you see we have that little gap in there so we will purl these two together to close the gap okay and i will continue like this and we have to purl one more always after you purl two together you still have to purl one more and always when you do on this side on the right side slip slip and knit two together you still have to knit one more okay so i will continue like this until i have only one stitch left okay so i think you can go and do this without me i think it's very self-explanatory that you slip first stitch and then you need to work these stitches all the way to the last stitch before the gap you don't even have to if you have a good eye you don't have to even count these stitches you see the here is the gap i didn't count and i just do the slip slip stitch slip slip and knit them together and then i knit one more okay and now without counting i'll show you we will do the same on the pearl side okay so i slip my first stitch and i purl all the way to that gap to that one stitch before the gap I'm not counting, I'm not counting, I just want to show you that you, once you recognize that little gap, you can, you don't really need to count your stitches, okay? I'm almost there. I'm here, you see, we have that gap and we will purl these two together and then purl one more purl one more okay and if you check you should have 
where, the, where that, there is that gap and and over here same number of stitches over here and over here two four six seven two four six seven okay so i will continue like this until i have this one stitch here and one stitch in here okay and we're done and now we're gonna be working on that we will be working on our side now and i want to use my light color okay okay so we're going to go and cut our dark color i'm gonna leave longer so it doesn't untangle just in case okay and we will be working with our very light blue not very light but lighter shade okay and what we will do now is we will pick up i will pick up 18 stitches along this side i will knit this these stitches i will pick up 18 stitches on the other side and then i will knit all these stitches okay since we have a 15 or we actually have 30 rows in here but 15 the long ones in here you know the long one then the knot it looks like a knot it's very tiny long one knot long one knot okay so and we will be picking up around here uh 15 stitches all the way up to here but we, i want to pick up 18 so i will be picking up one over here around this stitch and I need to pick up two stitches also right in this light area, okay? So I will pick up here and here two stitches. So that will be two, you know, two extra stitches. So let's go and do it. One, and one more here, the blue, uh, the light blue one, okay? And now 15 stitches here along these long ones. And I go, Basically, I take two, I, it has like a, 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 you know, like a loop, like two, two um, yarns, right? Two strands, okay? Let me go and show you, one and two, two strands. So I pick those two strands of the longer looking stitch, okay? Just Put it in there and grab it and pull it toward you okay i think the same way basically you would do it with the uh english style let me show you oh, let me show you here so basically you would go with your needle in let me get into the viewfinder and you put this around your needle and you pull it through okay and let me see this is the knot okay, you wrap it around the needle and pull it through those two two loops okay and put your needle in and wrap it around the needle and pull it through okay I hope I will try to edit it in such way so you can see what I'm doing I will zoom it in in my editor I'm not zooming in right now so this is how you go and pick up uh, English style and again as you know I am much better with my continental style okay this should be my 15th on the dark one plus two that's 17 so let me go and count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven yes okay and then we are going to go around this one stitch you see like around that stitch one more so that's 18. i will take another needle and i will 
knit the stitch that we went around it okay i will knit it this way we won't have any holes in here and i will knit all these stitches oops now these stitches are getting long so i'll just tug on the tail okay we don't want any holes in there and later on i will weave this tail in okay and i will just knit all these stitches on this needle so this is these are the stitches from the turning heel okay so i will knit them all let's go again let's go big around this stitch right here so that's one let's be very careful okay now here long ones okay so that's one here is another long one be very very careful because you really want to have same number of stitches on both sides okay So we have 18 okay and they're pretty uh, fairly uh, uh, evenly spread out okay and now we will knit all these stitches and then this is when we will be starting this is gonna be our starting point right here okay so we need to finish our row and then we will start working on our uh, on our decreases in these two corners so what I will do is I will move all these stitches on one needle so we have square in here okay so we are set up to work now on this on this part okay we're set up to work on this part right now we're gonna be knitting all this from here all the way there okay all the way to my tip right here so now let me go and explain to you one thing okay some people when they're making these decreases okay because we have way too many stitches on our needles now so when people are making these decreases they do it every other row okay and uh, some people do every row but I in this particular case I did every row so it's basically it's more this is not more like this but it's more like you know uh, the angle is a little bit sharper okay um, but if you would go and do every other row it would be a little bit more the sock would look more like this it would not have it would be less sharp this angle here okay okay so um, the, like I said this is our starting point okay this is our starting row that starts right here on this needle okay and also what we do need to uh, remember we will be decreasing in this corner always the first two stitches and in this corner on this needle last two stitches we will be decreasing okay so here we will be doing slip slip and a knit which is slip knit wise slip knit wise and knit those two stitches through the back loop and here we will be doing uh, knit two together okay and all these will be just knitted okay except these 
first stitches on this needle and last two stitches on this needle in every row okay until we have so i have 36 36 stitches here and i need to have 36 stitches right in here as well okay so these stitches will be uh, decreased i wanted to say deleted <laughs> which is exactly the same anyway, right? So we will be decreasing these stitches going this way until we have 36 stitches here, okay? Between these, between these three needles. Okay, so we would need seven stitches here and seven stitches here that we would not decrease, okay? In these two corners. So we have to go and be decreasing from here to here 11 stitches 11 times. Okay, because we have 18 stitches in here. So let's go and put stitch marker right here below these stitches. Okay, so this is going to be our uh, side where we, where we will be decreasing. And this one as well. And we already do have a stitch marker in here. Okay, okay so we will slip, slip, knitwise, slip, slip knit twice again and knit through the back loop okay and now i will knit all the way to that those two last stitches on my on this needle right there okay all the way to here Okay, so I knit, I, I uh, decreased here, skip, uh, slip, slip, knit, knitted all these stitches in here. I'm gonna knit more stitches, which is, let me see, 18. I will knit 16 stitches right here. Two last stitches my marker that I'm supposed to decrease over here and like I said before we are not going to be doing slip slip we will be doing uh, knit two together okay we will not do slip slip knit two together because it has to be in a different angle okay this one is gonna be in this angle and this one is gonna be in that angle so they have to go in the same angle okay that's why we do slip slip on this side and knit two together on that side and then I will finish my row here okay and then I will start next row exactly the same way like here except I will have one less stitch on this side and one less stitch on this needle on this side okay okay so and this is my second row and I will go and do exactly the same thing I will do in the beginning of this row slip 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 and knit okay and I will knit all the way to the end of this needle and continue like that until I get to my end of my third needle my last two stitches Um, on my third needle and I will knit last two stitches on that needle I will knit them together okay so I will knit this knit here all the way to these last two stitches and I will knit them together okay and then I will finish my row just knitting on this needle all right so tomorrow I will show you one more time how I do this in the daylight
Uh, last night, after I stopped the video, I continued decreasing in these two corners, okay? And I have uh, eight more stitches, but I told you that I have to have seven stitches in here, okay? So I still have to decrease one more stitch here and one more stitch here. And I promise you that I will show you how I was uh, doing it, okay? And also, it is starting to be extremely hard to have few stitches here, lots of stitches here, and, you know, little more stitches over here. So this is kind of becoming very cumbersome on knitting, uh, knitting on the double uh, pointed needles. If you're knitting on circular needles, you would have your uh, loop here and loop over here, right? And every single time you would go and start, you know, after the loop, you would start doing your decrease and then before the loop. And hopefully uh, you would go and put uh, uh, markers in, in these corners where you have those 22 stitches so you could go and easily count your stitches that you were supposed to uh, be decreasing in here. So, you know, if you have marker here, then you will know that after the marker or before the marker, you have seven stitches. And after this marker, you still have st seven stitches as well. And that you need to go, go and stop, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, let me go and first show you how much more difficult it is to work on this needle. You see, it's kind of, it's, moving this way and this needle is in my way okay uh, therefore it's kind of hard to uh, decrease so if you are in such position if you like double pointed needles like myself you see how hard it is it's kind of this needle is getting in my way um uh, hold on one second this is this doesn't belong into my onto my needle. Okay, so let me go and finish this. And hopefully I won't knock down my camera. Okay. And since I don't need to really, I'm at the end of um, my uh, seven stitches that I have those seven stitches in here that I need uh, to have same number of stitches here as I have in here, right? So it's going to be 7 plus 22 plus 7 is 36. But what I'm going to do is I will actually knit 11 stitches and I will add them to these 7. So I have 18 stitches on this needle, okay? So I will knit 11 stitches here. okay and I should have 18 stitches on this needle uh, so now I will knit all these stitches which should be 11 as well and now we are going to go and knit uh, six stitches and then we will knit two together because we still have to decrease by one stitch on this side okay and this is my last decrease for these socks okay two stitches two last stitches and i will knit two together okay and I will finish my row. I will finish my row. So I get to the beginning of my row right here, okay? So I'm finished with my row. And now it is very, if it's very difficult for you to knit um, 
30, 6 stitches here, 18 here, 18 here, you can go and di divide these stitches also into 18 and 18, and it's gonna be easier. But if you're okay to knit this way, then uh, that's fine as well. Now, um, I will be doing this now. Okay, so from now on, I need to, and I will go and put a marker in the beginning, just like I put over here. So I will knit all the way to this area right here. And then where I count it, I have to count how many rows I have to do, but uh, let me measure. Let me measure from here, basically from here to here. Uh, I knitted uh, seven, about seven, seven inches, okay? So seven inches over here. Um, this is six inches, if I didn't show you yet. Okay, that's six inches. This was about uh, almost three inches, two and a half, two and a half, almost three inches, okay? You can go and alter this according to person's foot, all right? So, but over here, I have to knit seven inches, okay? Just straight up in the round. Uh, in the morning, I would go and start videotaping how to do our um, toe area. So this is my last stitch. And after the marker, that's my first stitch, okay? So I can go and count the rows. I will count my rows all the way up to here. And I will match those rows with this sock as well, okay? We are coming to the finish of our project, of our sock project. And uh, as you see, yesterday I managed to knit my foot, uh, foot part. And we are going to start decreasing for our uh, toe area. Uh, and as you also see, I distributed my uh, stitches into uh, four double pointed needles because it was much easier on me uh, to knit um, I just couldn't handle one long one and two shorter ones okay uh, you could also have uh, circular needles and therefore you would go and have a, a, a magic loop over here and over here right well, let me actually cut this yarn because we will be working with the darker shade and I have my darker shade right here ready for us and what I've done in here is that I decreased uh, decreased stitches in these these two corners don't do it this way please because that would be a big huge error you would have to take it down all right so you have to go and make sure that you flatten your uh, socks uh, with the with your heel over here on top and you will start and then you will start over here in this corner okay so first what i will do i will knit one more row with this dark shade that's what i did on my other sock okay and by the way i did um 70 uh, approximately 70 rows. I did 70 rows. I don't know how many rows you need. And again, just like I started my dark over here, so I don't have to weave in my this end. I do have to weave in this end. It's on the inside of the sock. So let me twirl my yarn again, and I will go and knit entire row, okay? I just like to twirl it because it makes the yarn thinner. You see, it's thinner and it stays nicely in there. Okay, now I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and I will knit entire row with dark, uh, with dark yarn. 
Okay, so I am finished with my um, entire row in my dark color and I am ready now to uh, start decreasing. And this is how we will decrease. We will decrease, uh, knit two together in this corner, uh, slip, slip, knit, okay? Then we will repeat it one more time. Right after slip, slip, knit, we will do over here on the other side, knit two together, and then over here, slip, slip, knit. And then we will knit one entire row, and then we will repeat it again. And we will do that total 10 times. So we will really decrease uh, 40 stitches. Four, one, two, three, four in each row, okay? And times 10 is 40 stitches. Uh, so we need to knit two together in here and it's a little, little bit tight in here. So I will stretch my, stretch my um, stitches so I can put my needle in there and I will knit two together okay oopsie oopsie daisy one more time so oh, let me go and try if I can do it uh, English style I definitely made this quite tight here I don't like any gaps that's why I always make these stitches a little tighter okay all right oops let me see how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be this way okay so we're gonna go and knit these two stitches together let's not lose that stitch Oh, yeah, I didn't lose it. Yes, yay. Okay, and now I'm going to go and knit all the way to, to this end right here. So these two uh, needles will be knitted except the last two stitches, okay? So, okay, so we need to, let me see, we need to do the knit. I didn't knit it yet. Okay. And let me do it my style, <laughs> continental. Oh, I'm too slow. Video would be like so freaking boring. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm tangled over here. All right, so I'm going to knit uh, to the last two stitches on the bottom side of the foot. Okay. Okay, so now we are at one, two stitches in this corner. Okay. You see, it has to be flat. So this corner and that corner, not here. Okay. And we need to do slip, slip and knit. And we need to slip knitwise, slip one knitwise, slip second knitwise, and then knit through the back loop. Okay. And what we did over here, we're going to do over here. And this is the top of the foot. Okay. So we need to do the same thing over here. This is going to be knit two together, knit all these stitches all the way to the last two stitches and we will do slip slip knit you know what this is bothering me it's always in my way so this is what i'm going to do put my hand in there and pull it inside the sock Okay, so knit two together. Knit all the way to the end of the top of the foot except those last two stitches. 
stitches. Okay, here we are. Let me actually do it, show it to you in uh, English style. So again, you just go and slip slip knit wise slip knit wise put the needle back in and it's going to be through the back loop okay so you will go and wrap it around pull it toward your body and you did your slip slip knit in english style now i will knit entire row we will not decrease in this row. We just will knit entire row. Okay, so I finished my entire row and I am back at the bottom, starting the bottom, okay. This is my bottom, right? Because we have the heel in here. This is my top of the foot, bottom of the foot. Okay, so now I showed you how I did my two rows. And I need to do them, I need to repeat these two rows, two rows, okay? I need to do them nine more times. I did it once and now I need to do it nine more times. And then I will be ready to do my Kitchener stitch all right as you see i am uh, finished with my 10 decreases and after every decrease 10 rows i mean each row so that's 10 so that's totally 20 rows and let's go and compare these okay so this is how it looks and now what i will go and do i am going to go and put these stitches the the tops top part on one needle and the bottom part on another needle okay so let's go and do it okay so now i have my stitches on two needles only and i am ready to work on my kitchener stitch uh which i'm not going to be showing it to you uh however uh, you can go and uh, see my video, how I do kitchen a stitch, and you might see the link to my video about now. And so if you, if you don't know how to do the, this kitchen uh, stitch, you can go and use that particular video, all right? And uh, so let's go and do a kitchen a stitch. <laughs> Here we are. We are finished with our socks. All I have to do is weave in my ends. Let me go and show you. I have a couple on the inside. There is this one on the inside and this one on the inside, okay? So that's what we need to go and uh, weave in and also to on the outside. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you will knit along. These are very simple, nothing, uh, you know, nothing elaborate, but if you are uh, uh, fairly new to knitting socks, hopefully this video is going to help you. Thank you so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting, if you have any uh, questions, you can post them down. If you have any answers to people who post questions below my video, you may answer them just as well. And I guess you will see me another time.